what I like to do is we have three fourths and 21 over 98. And what we want to do is we want to first see if these are equivalent equations, or sorry, not equivalent equations, but equivalent ratios. So to do that, we want to say, are these exactly the same? Are they equal? And let me go and give you an example of some very famous equivalent uh, ratios that you can maybe determine. If I gave you one half and I said, is one half the same thing as two fourths? And you guys can look at that and say, yeah, those are equal, right? Because those are really the same thing. If I said I have one half of something, or if I said I had two fourths, that's the exact same amount, right? Yeah. And the way you could show that is if you multiply by two over two to produce an equivalent equation, you see that, or equivalent ratio, you say, oh yeah. So if I just multiply by the same multiplier on the top and on the bottom, and I get the exact same ratio, then that proves those are equivalent ratios. Cool? You didn't have a test, so you just sat there. Oh, you did have a test? You just did that? Very good. Okay. You're, you'll be doing the ridiculous. OK. So next thing. So now let's go and see, determine, are these going to be equivalent ratios? So what I need to do is I need to determine, is there a multiplier? I can multiply by one of these. And it can be a fraction if you want to go for a larger one. But is there a multiplier I can multiply by to get these to be the same? I was about to say 7 for the top. OK, let's try 7 on the top. You know that if I multiply 3 times 7, that's going to give me 21, right? So if these were equivalent, because they're not saying they are, they're saying determine are if these are equivalent equations, or equivalent ratios, sorry. So if they're equivalent ratios, we know that we have to multiply by the same number. So 7 times 3 is 21. Then we have 21 over 98. Now the question is, is 7 times 14, is that equal to 98? If it is, we have equivalent ratios. If it is not, we do not have equivalent ratios. So if you don't have your calculator and you can't do it in your head, just do the old method. Hey, guess what it is? So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, since by multiplying it by um, a common multiplier, we are able to produce equivalent ratios. Okay. So if, you if it would have been like 99 or something, then you could say, no, those are not equivalent ratios. All right. Now when you're doing this, just don't